Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and then. Father, Heavenly Father, we begin this evening, actually, we devote to the same service, St. Michael, and the most beautiful blessed Virgin Mary. We ask you to send the Holy Spirit to be with us, that all the men may glorify you and build up the kingdom of God. We ask this to Christ our Lord. Amen. St. Michael the Archangel. Pray for us. Good evening. Good evening, Father. Father. My name is Father Tim Nelligan. I'm the pastor of Blessed Sacrament in Ottawa. It's a pleasure for me to be here. And I've been asked to speak to you this evening about uh, St. Michael the Archangel. And some people who, people who know me, certainly in my family, uh, realize or know right away that this is not something foreign to me. Do we have any military veterans here? How about police? Any police officers, firefighters, pilots? <laughs> we got both covered, David. St. <laughs> <laughs> Michael the Archangel is one of the great patrons and uh, intercessory saints of the church. And we're familiar with uh, the image of St. Michael normally holding the scales with his wings out. And it's unusual to see in the statue that I've brought here this evening of St. Michael the Archangel with his wings folded and crowned. This is the gargano image of St. Michael the Archangel. And many years ago, I was thinking around my ordination, I received an image of this made out of a pulverized marble for my mother. And it was the only first time I've ever seen it. I go, oh, what's this all about? Even though she didn't know I had a devotion to St. Michael. I'll talk a little more about that. Um, it was a bit unusual to see this sort of statue. And I started getting all kinds of pictures and a couple of statues of St. Michael. People found out I had a devotion. Oh, here, and when I was, I was a paratrooper, I received a paratrooper's St. Michael's medal, which I still have and still wear. And then people were beginning to ask me, oh, do you have something from St. Michael? And I ended up giving the wig at our Gavin statue. I'm on the so I've already been. <laughs> <laughs> I just one of those spiritual moments, someone who's in turmoil, I saw I had it and take it spray with it. <laughs> Thinking I might get it back, there it is. <laughs> okay. Uh, I have another one in my office, I have a bronze one in the house that I picked up. But this year when I was in Gargano, or last year actually in May in Gargano, I always wanted to go, as my devotion increased to St. Michael, I always wanted to go to Gargano, Italy. And it is about a half an hour from San Giovanni del Tonto, or Padre Pio, is in the area. So if you've been to San, San Giovanni and you didn't go to St. Gargano, uh, you need to go back. Go <laughs> <laughs> so into the Gargano, which is a park area. It is the only celestial basilica on the face of the earth. It is the only basilica consecrated by an angelic person, namely St. Michael, in the world. As you see at the base of it, there's a small reliquary, and in there is a stone from the basilica. And it is considered, as is the entire cave of St. Michael, the second last rock. And it is something that we are encouraged uh, as theologians uh, and other saints have started talking about, especially St. Padre Pio, is to carry that stone with us wherever you can get stones from the shrine. I was given a little locket by a friend of mine, Mary Jean Angelina, <laughs> and she said, oh, you've got to put one of those stones in here. I never thought about that. So I wear a stone St. Michael around my neck along with my medal. Now, it's been better than 20 years that since I started effectively my devotion to St. Michael. When I was in the military as a paratrooper, uh, 1982, I gave a jump course. Uh, with the Airborne Regiment in Edmonton in the midst of winter with snow up to here. And of course the jump master would say, now don't remember to do a roll when you're falling in at 2,000 feet into a snowbank. Like you roll, right? You don't. You just get stuck there. But after the first jump, 
in a scope. After the first jump, one of the guys came in and saw us, and he was a little chap. He said, now that you've done your first jump, we're going to give you this. And it was a paratrooper, a metal round fellow, the same level of the RPA, the patron of paratroopers on that. And that sort of got me fired up. That was in 1982, so that's probably over 30 years ago, for whoever's counting. <laughs> <laughs> and I began to dig into it a little more, sort of cool, and have a patron say that kind of stuff. And then my life began to proceed, and I, and I went to the seminary, and I was near a pair of shirts, the same life with the Archangel and the priest there with the great man, he ended up becoming my confessor outside of the seminary. And he spoke a lot about St. Michael, the effectiveness of St. Michael. So it began to intrigue me, I began to read more. And for the first time in my life, it was in January of 1992, I picked up the chapter of St. Michael. I'm going to bring that one in and put it in the, you know, on the dresser to do it. And then I picked this one up and I left the other one behind. Uh, but many people have this one here, which you can sell now, and giving out, and so on and so forth. And I looked at it, I said, well, that's not a world dream. He said, no, it's a chapel of St. Michael. And when you pray the chapel of St. Michael, there's all kinds of promises that come with it. And the, and the three promises of the chapel of St. Michael, St. Michael promises that whoever would practice this devotion would have an escort of nine angels chosen from each of the nine choirs when they approach Holy Communion. That's to make sure you get there. <laughs> For those who recite the chapter daily, he would promise continual assistance and that all the holy angels, of the, all the holy angels during life and after death, deliverance from purgatory for themselves and their relations. All right? So it's drop dead, go to heaven. No, no stop in the middle, no pit stop for cleaning or washing, it's right in heaven. Which means you get the mystical cleansing of your soul by virtue of the chapel of St. Michael the Archangel. So, how, 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 you know, how great is that? Right? Mm. If we depend on the saints to assist us. This is not just some fickle promise, because God doesn't work with the fickle. Right? He works with the real, the true, and the holy. My devotion to St. Michael increased. And in 1995, I became a chaplain after having been in the military already for 15 and a half years. I left the Army side of it as an as airborne uh, Army Sergeant Major Clean the Records in Canada. Uh, Canada's oldest infantry regiment of foot, just in the hmm. And I became a chaplain in the, in, the, in the regular force. I was a pastoral associate, and for another six years, I would be a PA. And in 1998, with the first battalion of the Old Regiment, I was deployed to Bosnia and Herzegovina, and we had a huge AOR, area of responsibility, which to drive it across would take about four and a half to five hours right? um, at country road speed because <laughs> the roads were so bad. In February uh, of that year, I was heading to a place called Dravar, and Dravar was a place where Tito sort of had his enclave. He went through the little mountain area of Zensky Petrovac. And it was also in places where when they had the Sarajevo Olympics, it was one of the venues. A huge stadium there and so on and so forth. So we're on the way and it had been snowing for a couple of days. The roads were terrible. They didn't have good equipment to clean the roads. So we basically got the, the tires of the, of the Iltis or the Jeep into the ruts and off the road you're back like, oh, <laughs> <laughs> Sponging mostly your cheap, 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 cheap. <laughs> uh, now everyone knows uh, people know me how much I like my morning coffee, so it keeps me going in the military and drink like gallons a day. I mean, gallons a day. You know, you know, it's just one of those little things. So I have a little tray there that they made for me. We put the coffee in there, and I just finished drinking my coffee. And the vehicle spins out of control. And the area we were in, we knew there were no guardrails in the road. And if we had gone off the road, we would have tumbled into the field. And we knew that field was 
was nothing but landmarks, personnel lines. Now, it's interesting to note, first of all, the nickname of my driver was Crash Engine. <laughs> <laughs> that does not inspire hope. <laughs> His last name was Denton, because they were called Denton, but they called him Crash Denton, because the great big, we called the honey wagon, that took care of all the latrines up in the other place. He was driving there, and he rolled that down the hill. <laughs> <laughs> and he walked away from it. And now you're, oh, we'll give you to the Padre, you're the Padre driver. <laughs> Thanks, Colonel. <laughs> anyway, we're heading into the car, and the vehicle's spin out of control. And all I could remember saying was, Say, say, Michael, need your help now. And the vehicle came to a dead stop in the middle of the road. And I went, oh. And then you go on, if you have experience, you sort of get that sense of that, that heat and that tingling that's going on in your person. And I'm just sort of caught up in the moment. I feel it's just something happening. And I just feel something going on. Other than the fact that the vehicle is down at a dead stop in the middle of this road on a blind curve. And Crash decides he wants to have a conversation about it. That doesn't have to go. Oh, that was so cool. Like, he just said something to the vehicle stop. We need to go. Like, this is amazing. Like, oh my goodness, I can't wait to tell the story. And I went, you're not telling anybody, we need to go. But that, there was like a voice in my head saying, you need to move, you need to move now. I had to throw a show, show, punch him in the shoulder. So we have to go now. He puts his thing in the air, we have to go on 10, 15 feet, and two tractor trailers come around the corner. He looks at me and says, don't say a word. <laughs> we get out of the box, we're the box, we're then some picture back to make our turn. We're going up over the mountains, and he says, you know, Padre, said, after thinking about everything that's been going on, I don't want anyone to know what happened. I said, I have no intention of saying anything either. <laughs> they go, okay, so deal with this, keep it completely quiet. Hey, easy peasy, let me squeeze it. <laughs> get into, get into, uh, into Jabbar and at the camp. An hour later, Howard Coombs, Major Coombs, he's a good Catholic gentleman, goes up to me and says, Padre, what's going on with you and St. Michael? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea, sir. <laughs> he goes, well, the whole camp's talking about it. And I said, is this your stage tonight? And I said, well, what was it? I hope you're staying tonight because I want to hear the story. <laughs> so I mean to tell you the story goes, that's pretty cool. This is so what's gonna happen now? This is we're gonna pray the prayer of St. Michael. And we do it all the time anyway. And so things began you know, to change at that moment. And by the time I left the Bosnia to Mabina in July of that year, one of the things that I ended up doing is I purchased three large alabaster statues from Magic Gloria of St. Michael the Archangel. One statue went to one Italian RCR, one statue went to Queen's of Canada, and the third one went to the third battalion of the RCR, and they are humanitarian awards, and they're still used today. The purpose of it has written the prayer of St. Michael. The purpose of that is to imbue upon the troops that first and foremost, as a soldier, he is your patron. He's the one who returns to you when the trouble strikes, or when you have fear or anything, return to St. Michael. As my life continued to move, my vacation continued to move forward, and December 2000 was coming up, and I was not quite sure what was happening. I finally get called to the bishop's residence in Ottawa, and he tells me, he says, I'm calling you holy orders, but I need you to go to the St. Augustine's to do your jurisdiction. And he says, so, but he had to go meet the vocation director first, so I met him, and that night, Location director from the shop camp man said to me, he goes, well, he says, you need to start thinking about dates. So I go, wow, I have no idea. But I'd already been playing or praying rather with uh, the attention that if I was to be ordained, I asked him, I was like, this is now in your hands. You need to make this happen. Because I can't do anything. And if it does happen, let it be on your feast day. September 29th, 2001. Feast of the Archangel that was the priest for the military diocese of Canada. He did 
us that when we ask God for something and He wants it to happen, it will happen. Hmm. How many people have had that same experience? I mean, here we see the mother, uh, uh, Bernadette, speaking about the nasty goes, well, the mother will take care of her. I'll go to her and ask her. And it happens. Right? Many people here have the same thing. That's, that's my miracle, if you want to call it that. And my association, my companionship to St. Michael the Archangel. And all the more, um, I do everything that I can in my own open way to push and to encourage this devotion. And of course, last year, the first Sunday of Advent, what did the Holy Father ask us to do? He asked us to have our every Mass to pray the prayer of St. Michael. Say it every day. Say it two, three times a day. Say it any time you're in trouble. Say it when you get up. Say it when you go to bed. Say it at Mass, after Mass, whenever. He is the banisher of rebel spirits. He is the guardian of souls in the church. He is the sword that separates the truth from the lie. And if we are all on the proper side of the sword, we have nothing to worry about. It is his shield that goes before us into the fight. And it's interesting because as a historical note, who here is familiar with the miracle of the Battle of Mons, 1918? Miracle of Battle of Mons, hundreds and hundreds of soldiers on both sides saw a celestial battle occurring. And it's a big verified, um, sold and verified in the way that they saw. St. Michael the Archangel, St. George, and a host of angels fighting against the demons. Right? It's not popularly known, but it's, it's if you have hundreds of people on the ground looking up in the battle in which they were in there, seeing that happen, what does that say? Inasmuch as we are at war here on earth in our humanity, that war is not instigated simply by ourselves. It's instigated by, instigated by the demon who wants to tear apart everything that God has created, and that is you, that is me, that is all of humanity. And so he inspires us in our weakness to enter into these battles, into these wars, into this descent, to generate hatred, and racism, and all those kind of nasty, negative things that Father talked about so eloquently this morning. So it's not happening here. Michael is waging war on our behalf in the heavens to assist us to keep the demons at bay. And it is Michael who kneels as the angel of peace before our Blessed Mother. I was talking to a couple of people today about a painting that I saw of Mary in throne, the angels around her, and St. Michael kneeling before her, offering her his flaming sword. St. Faustina talks about St. Michael the Archangel and all that he means for the church. Father talked about not having, you know, having maybe a tip of the iceberg idea or understanding of Mary. St. Michael is in the same sort of boat that you will. So little do we understand, so little do we appreciate about his role. We all have an angel as our guardian, as we promised. We all learned that prayer was all the good. I remember learning it as a little boy, and even prayer, and it took me a little boy. Kneeling on the side of bed at night. St. Michael is our protector. And so at this moment, what we're going to do is we're going to turn uh, our hearts towards him. Uh, by God's grace and favor, we're going to pray that chapter. If you've never prayed it before, if you listen to what you're praying, let it sink into your heart and into your person and know what Michael is doing for us through his intercession because God willed it to be so. For those of you who have a chaplet and have not had a blessed inflation, I'm pleased just to hold it up, we'll bless the chaplets, and then we'll pray the chaplet itself. Today, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, Amen. For God, our Heavenly Father, we ask you to send down your blessing upon these chapters of St. Michael the Archangel, that all those who may pray them may be protected by his powerful intercession and his shield, may his sword of fire keep free from them all demons who dare to entice us into hell, that we may all witness God in his kingdom to praise and glorify him with the angels. Through Christ our Lord, Amen. Amen. O God, come to my assistance. Lord, 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 Lord,
Spirit. As it was in the beginning, it is now, and it shall be, for all the world without end. Amen. By the intercession of St. Michael and the celestial choir of Seraphim, may the Lord make us worthy to burn the fire of perfect charity. Amen. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, and thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou most the women, and blessed the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou most the women, and blessed the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou most the women, and blessed the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. By the intercession of St. Michael the Archangel, the celestial fire of cherubim, may the Lord grant us the grace to lead the ways of sin and run in the paths of Christian perfection. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed the fruit of thy womb. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among the women, and blessed the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among the women, and blessed the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. By the intercession of St. Michael the Archangel, the celestial fire of thrones, may the Lord infuse in our hearts the true and sincere spirit of humility. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. By the intercession of St. Michael the Archangel, the celestial choir of dominations, may the Lord give us grace to govern our senses and overcome our unruly passions. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. By the intercession of St. Michael the Archangel, the celestial choir of virtues, may the Lord preserve us from evil and falling, and falling into temptation. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. 
Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. By the intercession of St. Michael the Archangel and the special choir of powers, may the Lord protect our souls against the snares and temptations. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou, O Lord, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and St. Michael the Archangel, the celestial choir of principalities. May God fill our soul with the true spirit of obedience. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. By the intercession of St. Michael the Archangel, the celestial choir of archangels, may the Lord give us perseverance in faith and in all good works, in order that we may attain the glory of heaven. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Blessed art thou, most woman, and blessed the fruit of 
thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, O Lord, with thee, blessed art thou most woman, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, O Lord, with thee, blessed art thou most woman, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary,
accompany us then to the throne of God, to sing with you, Archangel St. Michael, and all the angels, praise, honor, and glory to the one who reigns for all eternity. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. May Almighty God bless you, Father, Son, the Holy, Holy Spirit. Spirit. Amen. Amen. St. Michael the Archangel, pray, pray for us. Guardian of souls and of the church, protect, protect us. us. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father.